Welcome back everyone to another LEGO Star Wars 2024 leak video and good morning to all of you guys at least in the USA. It's probably going to be about 6 a.m. when this video goes live. Um, I was up all night playing a little bit of Pokemon Platinum. It was a rainy Friday night and just figured I'd you know, play a little bit of that and uh, randomly uh, at about 4 a.m. or so I uh, actually you know, just checked my phone, went on Facebook first of all apps and uh, the first thing I saw was uh, you know the leaked image here. Uh, you know the first leaked image, relatively blurry of course, but we have a, a good idea now as to exactly Exactly what the set is, what it looks like, what minifigures are included of the 75387, the Tanta 4 hallway scene. So, like I said, this came from a, um, a Facebook post, but the original you know, leak and source of this image is from a UK, uh, the toyshop.com. It's an entertainer site. So, uh, again, sounds like a them problem, not a me problem. I'm just going to cover the, the image that uh, that website put out. So, uh, basically, guys, let's break this down. All right. So, the initial kind of rumors about this, of course, uh, you know, I'll show the image real quick. Okay. And, and just right off the bat, it answers two of our questions, okay? Two of the biggest things. The original leaks from like four, five, six months ago, the very first text leaks, um, had the word diorama in there. Okay, then very shortly after, about maybe one or two months after, uh, you know, basically came out saying that it was not going to be a diorama. You know, like, it was not going to be 18 plus, not going to be black box art, um, not going to be, you know, too, uh, you know, adult orientated. It's going to be more of a play set, more so like the Dark Trooper attack. And uh, this really, truly is like a, a light mode version of of uh, the Dark Trooper attack here. So that answers that question. And then another thing that kind of came into the mix a little bit late, it wasn't on that first initial leak, was Captain Antilles. Uh, you know, when I was saying there was going to be some, you know, Falcon fan, of course, was putting it in his stuff. Uh, not everyone was, so there was some debate. Was there going to be a Captain Antilles or not? And he is here, okay? I have no clue, of course. You know, these are you know blurry enough images where uh, we can't know for certain if it's the exact same one from the uh, 2019 Tanta 4. Um, only time will tell. Probably here pretty shortly. It seems like, you know, these images at least leaked images are going to be coming out uh, pretty shortly for the other March 1st sets. But um, I guess I didn't say that yet. March 1st, 2024, this is when the set comes out. Uh, 75387. Uh, this is a 25th anniversary set. And uh, okay, let's break it down. All right, let's fully break it down. This has 502 pieces. It's going to retail for 55 US dollars. And the crazy part about this, this has seven minifigures. So, all right, so let's actually break this set down. Moving into the box art, two things I want to cover. First off, how it actually looks, okay? This is 25th anniversary branded. It has the logo in the bottom left corner. It has the newer style kind of greebling uh, with the little, you know, diagonal line on it. That's all kind of like in a, a light bluish gray almost like sand bluish color i do like the color a lot i'm not too i'm just i'm not sold still on this modern day box art stuff like i do wish they would go back to having more unique box arts but i mean especially for something like this i mean i feel like this is a little too similar to every other box art on the shelves for regular you know play sets where i wish they would have done a little bit more something like how the 20th anniversary of lego star wars did where it really was you know very unique um, on the shelf. So in my opinion, I still like that 20th anniversary box art uh, way more. Definitely leave your thoughts down below. Second thing here, uh, the box size. Okay, again, this has no bearing on whether or not the set's going to be good or not. But one thing I did notice, this box does look kind of awkwardly small, pretty much, for like a $55 set. Um, I guess we won't know until it's fully in hand. But, uh, you know, this set does seem pretty, you know, pretty skinny on the width. It, does, it looks a little bit girthier, of course. But I feel like for $55, it might kind of maybe throw people off that, like, inherently don't really think about, like, price per piece or like minifigure value they kind of just look at like you know maybe a tiny box like this and they're thinking 55 dollars so i'm not too sure of course i advocate for bigger boxes bigger sets like that's just how i am but uh, again that doesn't ruin the set necessarily not at all but uh so that's the box out right there that's everything to do with the box uh moving on with the minifigures here so we have our trooper fives all right i'm gonna start off with him because there's one big thing that i'm seeing here of course the picture is just enough blurry where you really can't tell for sure but um you know it does line up with the leaked images we've had leaked images for a week or two now of them we pretty much know exactly what he's going to look like uh those of course were from the mexico factory so the range finder did not you know initially come on him and then also it looks like a backpack so let me know down below guys does it actually look like he has a backpack on or not there's part of it that's kind of getting covered by the pauldron all right but one for the pauldron I would pretty much be 100% for sure that he does have a backpack, but it's also a little hard to tell because basically what I'm seeing here, let me know if you guys can see it. I have the 2012 Arc Trooper here that had a little four-piece backpack. You know, it was a, uh, you know, a little bracket thing, a one-by-two handlebar uh, piece, a one-by-one -one tile, and a stud. And I'm seeing the same exact bar pieces sticking out from the back of fives 
uh, when I put my Art Trooper at the same angle there. So um, it looks like it might just be a regular Art Trooper backpack, which I'm fine with, man. You know, this little four piece uh, backpack uh, worked wonders. And, uh, you know, it's something that I feel like just is, it's a nice addition. Okay. Then, you know, truly at this point, besides for the terrible printing, uh, you know, Lego did try their best on the pauldron. I, like I said, I, I fully respect that pauldron. The backpack's a nice addition. You know, having the antenna, of course, um, you know, with helmet holes actually doing their job, pro you know, actually, uh, you know, for the, the playability and the actual um, function of the helmet holes, that's always good. Um, so it's really just kind of the waistcoat missing on them. And I don't like the oversized guns either. But so that's fives right there. Definitely let me know down below um, if it looks like he has a backpack or not. Moving over, we have Darth Vader, uh, probably the same Darth Vader we've seen. It could be new, maybe a new head, but who knows. Um, the Family Guy Stormtroopers, we get two of them. Uh, Captain Antilles, we kind of already covered. And then we have two Rebel Fleet Troopers, which is definitely a nice addition. And uh, definitely a nice lineup for the scene. I mean, it truly is. I mean, it's a nice little, you know, fig lineup where if you were to buy multiple of these, because this is supposed to be uh, a, you know, where you can connect them and make a longer hallway. You guys can kind of see the uh, the technicals at the end. Um, it's probably where you can, uh, it's, it's going to be a little weird. I'm not too sure exactly. I wonder if how they're going to have you do it. I truly do wonder this. I wonder if they're going to have you, uh, you know, where the part where the actual, where, where a Vader's coming through. I wonder if that part can kind of be like turned on its side and used of more of like a back wall, you know, and then because that's going to be a little strange. I really do wonder if like you buy like five of these and try to go for a super long hallway. I wonder if you're going to have like, you know, four, you know, leftover doors you know, that take up, like, I mean, it looks like maybe a hundred of the pieces out of the 500, but, uh, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see exactly how they do that. There's also some little, uh, hinge things that looks like you guys can push down on them. Uh, you know, make your minifigures go flying. Uh, that was in the initial leaks as well, but, um, overall, man, look, um, you guys know that I sometimes just call a set like a bad vibe or a good vibe. Uh, this set has given me nothing but good vibes. I mean, truly this set all around, uh, you know, this feels like a 25th anniversary set and like, not just because of like the box art or anything, but like we've needed this set for 25 damn years. Like if you, you know, because you can technically say, you know, Genosis Arena, Dexter's Diner, we've only needed those for, you know, 22 years. You get what I'm saying? But like, this has truly been the full 25. Like we could have had this as like a, a wave one 1999 set back then, uh, because it's such an iconic scene from the movie. So this being a 25th anniversary set, I feel like it was the perfect time. I think they executed it pretty damn well. Um, it's gonna be nice to see it on the shelves. So I'll definitely pick up one of them and uh, we'll go from there. I think when you get this on sale for you know, 30, 35 bucks, uh, you know, being able to army build those figures and uh, just the value you're getting uh, when you get it on sale. I think this set's going to be uh, definitely a top tier one. So uh, leave your thoughts down below, guys. If I missed anything, definitely comment. And uh, hopefully the other pictures come out uh, maybe by the end of the weekend. So um, definitely stay subbed to the channel. If you guys want to check out those pictures, I try to always be first, at least on the YouTube side of things. So if you guys like following on YouTube and like seeing video form of stuff and kind of full coverage and breakdowns, uh, I'm probably your person, at least on the YouTube side. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys, and stay safe.